Alright, it's a cursed day, so I'm just gonna continue with it. I did a little bit of grinding after last time, but not too much. Um, effectively, <laughs> I went back and A-ranked every mission, uh, which is mad easy when you know what you're doing. Um, I think I did like two skirmishes, and now the Grenadiers are level 20. So we'll see how that goes. Let's hope it was just that singular mission. If it was, awesome, and if it wasn't, I don't know. Anyway. Oh. Damn it. And the lubricant's frozen up. Riley, how's your side going? I totally forgot to turn it back up. Whoops. All right. Well, apparently alt-tabbing just puts it into... No. All tabbing puts it into, uh, or skips the whole cutscene. Well, this is fine. Let's just watch that again. Damn it. And the lubricant's frozen up. Riley, how's your side going? Ragnite engine's connected. I set it up to push as hard as it can go. So why isn't it working? Hey, what kind of engineer hits their own machine? We've tried everything else. The connections are set up. The outflow's right where it needs to be. We're sitting in here scratching our heads, and they're out there fighting. We... we have to get this moving! C go Just work, you piece of junk! Everyone's fighting for their lives. You don't get to lie back and take a break! Okay, Dad made you, didn't he? That means you gotta listen to his daughter! Come on! Work! Work, damn it! What? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! You gotta be... How'd that even work? It worked for Dad. If his machines broke down, he'd just smack them. <laughs> we really did it! That's a... This is terrible. This is anime logic. <laughs> All right! The ship's finally woken up, then it's go time! Get a hold of the bridge! We're gonna push this baby as fast as she can go! You've got it from here, Claude. How much longer? You're all dead. The second wave is coming. They have a whole company up there. Just a little longer. Riley won't let us down. <laughs> Save those lines for when your girlfriend's around to hear them. Pass! Fine, let's get them. Come on, you bastards! This is the bridge. All squads, forward immediately. The engine has been reignited. We're pulling out. Uh, Riley, I knew you could do it. Bridge, can you hear me? Squad E is staying in the field to guard your retreat. The second wave of enemies is moving to descent. We need to leave now. Captain Wallace. Understood. I'm counting on you to defend the ship. Centuria! All systems back online! Full speed ahead! What the? I thought it couldn't move! No, our prey! They're getting away! Damn it, stop! Stop, you bastards! <sighs> They really like that scream. We failed. Again? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lord Belgar. We failed. I might just start skipping screams. I don't need to hear them. Hello. This is new. Oh. There's a girl in the engine room, of course. 
It's so warm in here. It was like being stuck in a freezer before, but now we're running hot. <laughs> Whoa, gross, man. Go get yourself warmed up. Riley must still be working. Rags! And Claude! <laughs> I thought you'd be here. We're still not running at full capacity. I'm pushing the backup engine pretty hard. I heard you got that working all by yourself. Nice job, Dr. Miller. It wasn't just me. I feel like Dad was helping me, too. Huh? It wouldn't start up no matter what I tried. For a minute there, I was just panicking. Then I remembered how Dad talked to Ragnite sometimes. He said he had to butter it up. When his experiments weren't going well, he'd say the Ragnite was in a bad mood. Ha! <laughs> Buttering it up, huh? So what finally convinced the Ragnite to cooperate? Uh, I mean, you know, just had to give it some tough love. <laughs> huh? Anyway, thanks, Riley. Believing in you was what kept me fighting out there. Uh, how can you give such a cheesy line with a straight face? <laughs> oh, sorry, that, that sounded a lot cooler in my head. But that's how I feel. I kept going because you did too. That's how it's always been, I guess. Whenever I was about to give up or when I felt overwhelmed, and when I made my choice to stand and fight, my courage and my determination came from you. Whether you're pushing me or just smiling at me, you helped me move forward. So, thank you. <gasps> Sorry, was that too much? You are such an idiot! You're supposed to be scaredy, Claude. And now you come out and say all this stuff. Uh, I believed in you too. Riley. I knew you could keep them back. That's how I could throw myself into the repairs. Oh! Whoa! Anime! <laughs> um... Sorry. Rags! What's gotten into you? I think he found something. Let's go check it out. Oh. Huh? How the... Where did this girl come from? Sea Fortress. Eight chapters left. Oh god, this game is long. So this is her. She really is. I just don't know anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do I want to do? I can't take this anymore. Someone please, stop me. Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? N no. I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. Seriously, is she okay? She seems really out of it. I'm back, Kai. Thanks for keeping an eye on... Well, this is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Doctor, has she not woken up yet? I'm afraid she's been unconscious since you brought her in. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. 
Which voice actor is that? I recognize that voice actor. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military ship. I recommend we let her rest for a little while longer. A stowaway, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I counted on myself. 21 on and 21 off. You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. The captain will have to talk to her. Or interrogate her. Interrogation? She's a little girl! We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. You think this girl's an Imperial spy? You're joking! Not to worry. I'll look after her during the questioning. I won't let her come to any harm. <sighs> if you say so, Doctor. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking up speed. How are the engines doing? <sighs> Not good. The main reactor has completely shut down. The Navy guys are all doom and gloom, too. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Bunch of wusses. Don't be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do, after all. To be quite honest, I feel the same way. At this rate, I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? <sighs> Okay, so the voice actor for Sergio might be? People are saying either Patrick Sates or Kirk Thornton. Oh! He's Ulbrich! That's what he is! Patrick Sates is the voice actor for Ulbrich from from Octopath, uh, Octopath Traveler. That's where I recognize the voice from, because we've still been recording that on the side. Or, yeah, he's the voice for Sergio Muscular. Wow, probably is Muscular, maybe? He's also the voice actor for Endeavor in the My Hero Academia uh, English dub. What else is he the voice actor for? Sometimes I just get stuck on these, because it's interesting. Seems like he's generally more like... Uh, he's more of a kind of side voice, but he's getting... Looks like he's getting bigger roles-ish, slowly. But yeah, so Ulbrich and... Oh, Beric from uh, Tyranny. What else? Beric was the guy that was encased in swords. Uh, he's been Frankie in a number of uh, One Piece things. He was the tank top master and the related heroes in One Punch Man. Yuki Mura in Digimon World Next Order. He was the he was the freaking um Geomon that like that weirdly deep voiced Geomon in, in Digimon World Next Order. Uh, that's, that's where I also recognize him from. Neat. Alright, I'm done with that. We're out of the crevasse. The Centurions set a new course for our destination. But our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The Sea Fortress is in our way too. And we're closing in.
An Imperial base on the Crystal Sea with unbreakable fortifications. Countless artillery emplacements. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so-called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, will we have enough left in us to make it to the capital? We're short on supplies, on manpower. I can tell everyone's thinking the same thing. This is our last chance to turn back. We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? <laughs> Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? We can't just give up. <clears throat> Raz, to tell you the truth, I agree with the doctor. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even spoke out against the captain's decision to keep going. But... I've already made up my mind. I've decided to fight to the very end, for the Centurion and everyone on it. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital, and we will make Operation Cygnus a success. We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. Claude! Ha! <laughs> That's good enough for me! We got this, Claude! Still, there's no denying the situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. Who cares about those spineless Navy jellyfish? We're Rangers, and we... No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? We might just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. The Voltron. We want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. God, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Ah, oh, well. Not like I've got anything better to do. I'll help you out. I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. They're just gonna grab all the soldiers and unite together into some kind of weird fleshy Voltron. That's that's the plan. To reach the Imperial capital, we'll have to find some way past the fort with minimal losses. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. About that, Captain. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. As it stands, trying to push past the Sea Fortress would be incredibly reckless. Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. I can certainly understand their position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file. But loose lips sink ships. We cannot disclose our plan. Agreed, sir. But for now, we need to resolve this before it becomes a crisis. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits through the ship, attempting to convince the dissidents one by one. 
who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. As for an old sailor like me, I will wait and see. Kraz, Riley! Oh, hey, Claude. How'd it go? <sighs> Not great. Everyone's fear is getting the best of them. So what if we have to go hungry for a while? We've eaten grass, frogs, we can ma- It's a different mindset here. We can adapt on land, but out at sea, our fate is tied to the ships. Rez was gonna say we can manage, can't we? Sorry. I should use a controller for this, actually. It'd be a lot easier to progress dialogue. I don't think that's gonna help convince them. Well, fine. If those chum buckets don't like it, they can take a long walk off a short plank. Losing manpower would hurt our chances even more. <sighs> I know that, damn it! But everyone here wants to take down the Empire. We're united by that much, right? What the hell? Why aren't they listening to us? Oh, hey, where's Kai? I asked if she wanted to help, but she seemed really, I don't know, distracted. She said something about having to do rifle maintenance and to go on without her. Damn it! We're trying to convince hundreds of people here. She may be cranky, but we could use the help. She's been acting really weird lately. Kai's probably dealing with her own issues. Whatever is going on with her, we still have work to do. Come on, Raz. <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm coming. What can we do? Damn you, Claude. I thought you were up to one of your usual schemes. Given up already? Minerva! I haven't given up. It's just... I don't know what to say to the others. I feel like I have to say something to bring us together and raise morale, but... I can't find the right words. <laughs> if you can't do the job, I could take your place. Maybe that would be for the best. <laughs> you absolute imbecile! <clears throat> the right words? I thought you had a spine, but I suppose I've overestimated you again. You think a motivational speech will win this war? I didn't pass up a promotion for you to just talk. You're here now because of your intelligence, your wit. No matter what you faced, you found a way through. You led your squad through each and every victory. You already have what it takes to get this crew to fight for you. And it damn well isn't your way with words. Minerva. You have one thing I don't. You didn't lead your friends to their deaths. I will not tolerate failure. If you want to prove yourself, do it through action, not words. Action. Right. You're exactly right. Thank you, Minerva. I feel like some kind of fog is lifted in my mind. <laughs> I suppose you just needed a good impact to knock it loose. Wait. Fog? That's it. Fog! Why didn't I think of this sooner? Pardon? Thank you, Minerva. I wouldn't have figured it out without you. Excuse me. I have to see the captain. Well... Whatever's gotten him so worked up, at least he's come to a decision. Honestly, he really is an imbecile. What the hell's going on? What's with the assembly? 
What do you think? The army boy with a stick up his ass, here to give a big, inspiring speech. Hey, Kai, what you doing over there? <sighs> hey, seriously, what's going on? Everyone, I apologize for how sudden this is. I'd like to propose a new plan to get past the Sea Fortress. Just hear me out. The core of their defenses is their high-powered artillery. We'll have to neutralize that first. The plan is to use air balloons to drop troops in from above and seize control of the emplacements. At the same time, the Centurion will make a frontal assault and charge directly toward the fortress. What? Soon, a dense fog is going to cover the entire fort. That'll be our chance to infiltrate it. The wind should be steady enough for balloons, even in the fog. Visibility won't be good, but we can land on target. I've already received the captain's approval. We just have to get ready, and when the time comes... Wait, the captain actually approved this? Yes, he did. Are you insane, Claude? How could you think this is a good idea? How could the captain sign off on it? You want to drop us into a fort? We're barely equipped! How can we take out the artillery like this? We won't even have a secure escape route. And you're just going to send the ship charging forward? A head-on firefight won't do us any good. Even if we win, it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. The losses would be too much. We'd have no chance of taking the capital. My plan's the most realistic option we have. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Brass? I was just thinking I wanted to let off some steam. Been cooped up in this goddamn ship for too long anyway. They're so proud of their heavy artillery, huh? I want to see their faces when I break it in half! But... Those of you willing to fight, come with me. I'll explain the op in more detail. Count me in! If we turn back now, we'll be the laughing stock of the Federation. Damn right! The Centurion can make it through anything! All right, then let's do this. Hmm, nice assist there, Raz. <laughs> well, it was enough to get a compliment out of you. <sighs> Half an hour of cutscene. Hey. So that's the marine base we're going after. The fog hasn't rolled in yet, but... Shouldn't be long now. Oh, look! From the north! Wind talk comes through for us again. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. Wait! Claude! Miles. Are you really going through with this? This plan is completely insane! It's suicide! Are you that scared of death? I'm a soldier, Claude. I'm not afraid to die if I have to. I am. Huh? I'm scared. Not just for myself. I'm always afraid that my friends are gonna get hurt or killed. Then why are you... Because I'm not alone. <sighs> I'd be too afraid to do it alone. But if I've got everyone behind me, I know we can do it. Reminding myself that we're all in this together gives me the strength to do the impossible. Isn't that how we made it through all our battles? Claude. Time to go. Battle? Battle! Battle! Finally. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the HQ for a hot second. We want to go to R&D. Miles oh. is suddenly going to be very excited about things. And we are going to upgrade the uh, the ship. Wow. I think we... I don't know how many of these we get to use. But yeah, I figured I'd, I'd quickly grab these. Because these are the wow. only upgrades I didn't get. I think. All done. Let's wander AFK for these cutscenes. I wish. Unfortunately, I have to manually progress the dialogue. Which is why it's sometimes like... There's this dumb... Uh, there's this dumb, like, lag time between, like, you know, when characters say stuff. It's because I'm 
not fully paying attention. I tend to... Really? I have zero EXP? Holy crap, though. Oh, right. I know exactly why I have zero EXP. Um, but yeah, I tend to zone out a little bit during the dialogue. I don't know why the dialogue doesn't just auto-go, because it would be so nice if I could get up and go get a cup of tea. I really would love to just get up and get a cup of tea while the cutscenes go. I mean, they're important, but I could... I have wireless headphones. Anyway, uh, Sea Fortress Maritime Infiltration. We have our next mission. Your target is Fort Garsbro Garsbrook's Artillery. Captain Wallace, you'll be leading the drop team via hot air balloon. You won't be at liberty to set up camp, so choose your teammates judiciously. Suggest you take Lancers with you. They'll make short work of the cannons. Meanwhile, the Centurion will continue advancing at a steady pace. That's why it's vital you destroy their artillery before the Centurion's within range. Once that's done, the drop team will have to escape the fort as quickly as possible. We'll send in an extraction team to help. Lieutenant Victor will lead the extraction team, so she cannot join you on the drop team. Okay, Claude dies, two turns pass while well, the West Cannon's active, or five turns pass with the East Cannon active. All right, position units. So I am stuck with Claude, Raz, Kai, Riley. Okay, standard standard right, group. Here we go. We're probably not gonna have armor, so maybe instead of Joshua, let's bring hmm. Connor, right. and just in case, let's bring Laurent. Let's do it. Said to bring lancers, but I'm hoping we grenadiers do the same. This mission will be. So I wish you and your squad the best of luck. Take out the cannons before they can open fire on the Centurion. Let's go, everyone! Yeah, with, with luck, a Grenadier can take out a cannon, too. But I don't know how All this right. is going to go. Looks like a safe landing. Is everyone okay? Oh, damn it! I think I broke my ass! We got a lot more spread out than we planned. Probably thanks to the fog. Not what I'd call a running start. Well, this was our first paradrop in actual combat. I figured it wouldn't go perfectly. But we can use this to our advantage. We can act as decoys for each other and confuse the enemy. Head to the artillery and pick your route carefully. Oh boy. This fog really is dense. If I move carefully, I might be able to sneak in closer. Heavy fog. Thick heavy fog is reducing visibility in the lower levels of the fortress. Your field of vision is limited inside the fog, and outside it's blocked off completely. Use the fog to stay hidden, but be careful not to stumble upon an enemy. Okay. Where's the tank? Let's start with Allard. Watch out! They're on to you! Never mind. Starting with Aulard is a bad idea. Okay. I was hoping that Grenadier was easy to get to. But no, he's up high. Alright. Well then, Riley. This is gonna hurt. Never mind. Balls. Okay, well... Too easy. It's fine. Riley can take care of the uh, vast majority of some of these threats. I have no idea what we've got down low, and having Ra Riley down here is real bad. <sighs> Can't do much about it. Okay. So there's the fortress cannon. Oh. Right. We got Connor in a really good spot. Hello, you schlubs. Okay, let's drop that right on you his head. Your guard down. Well done. I have no idea where people are. Oh no! We have two turns left to effectively charge Laurent across the entire area. 
Ah, oh, come me. on. This is kind of the worst luck. Bad guys! Knowing you're on our side makes me feel just a little braver. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. I could bring Riley up a little bit. Yeah, Here let's let's do that. She's right next to a ladder. I don't even know if there's anybody down here. The fortress is still on high alert. It. Let's It'll be out. a lot easier. Okay, so we've got no one. Can I can I get this guy? Right here, perfect. We still have that grenadier, which is gonna be a problem. But I wanna take out this this area if I can. I should have expected as much. Let's see. Uh now let's put this way. We want her to be within range of that grenadier. Who apparently is not within interception range, which is perfect. Uh let's see if I can kill him. I hope I can kill him. If I can't kill him, then I'll try and kill somebody else. Okay, cool. I can kill I can kill the Grenadier Elite uh, as it's long as I don't miss. Experience. Come on. All right, got him. Wee! The enemy this combat is super nice. weird and interesting. It's really work. compelling. I was not exactly Enemy's expecting. Let's wipe them out. I was not exactly okay, expecting it to be the way the way that it is, but it works out really well. Okay. Leave it to me. I'm still gonna have to use a ton of CP getting Laurent anywhere or er, Laurent? Yeah, Laurent. Anywhere even re reasonably helpful here. There's one over there. Cause he <laughs> he is in the absolute worst possible spot for a Lancer to be. Leave it to me. I can try and snipe it from here. Fire! Oh. Hey! There we go. Alright, no! we got it. Seemed a bit much, but that's okay. Alright, uh, so we don't no 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 no. That's that's Raz there. We also have Connor. We have Kai. I can do this. Should probably work on the other group with Kai. We're just gonna use Claude to take out that uh that one dude. Where's the camp on this? There's the camp, right there. I can't run. Well, this is going. This is going to hurt a bit. I don't think so. Never mind. They got you in that fight. Run, Claude. Is yes. that a range? Okay, this there we go. Got ours. the, got the flag up at the very least. I'm not a big fan of that that duck That's animation. Just what we need. I actually, I think it's kind of bad. Uh No, let's not end current action. The fortress I... is still on high alert. Yeah, I'm going to have to end current action here. Okay. Well, I got to get Raz out of the here pit anyway. The so let's get Rad Raz out of here. Razzle dazzle. Ant leaders grab like 3 followers to go with. They can. I should probably use it more often. You ain't going nowhere. Wide open. Easy. Show us your but yeah, so on the next round, I'll use use Claude to rescue Connor to and um, and Riley. I mean, honestly, why don't we actually do that now? Command, actual command. Let's go, everyone. I will see this through. Can we summon troops? I have no Enemy idea spotted. if we can. Let's Enemy take him spotted. Out. Commencing attack. Actually. Let's go. Right. Yes, coming. Team up. Please don't put your lives in needless danger. And I should have. We need you to handle the situation. Let's go. Claudia. I got your back. In retrospect, I should have maybe done this with Lawrence a long time ago. Oh, it's okay. Um, 
End phase. I don't know if we have anybody in that lower section. Not much I can do about it. An emergency? What's going on here? Reporting. Federation troops have infiltrated the fort, sir. Impossible. How did they get in? Assemble the defense team. Eliminate all enemies inside. They know we're here. Watch out for enemy counterattacks. Keep moving to the artillery. Okay, so there are some people down below. And we might get shot here. Well, <laughs> sorry, Connor. I think he was going for the camp. I could be wrong. That was very strange. Yeah, a lot of these enemies are scouts. For better or worse. Uh, and we do have somebody back up there. They are fast. And they're just going to be shuffling around. Well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, they have vehicles. Oh, and I got five turns to hit that cannon. Hopefully it's on the left side again. And I can just snipe it from places. 